Want to know how you can use the stems function on the new Pioneer DJ DDJ Flex 10 on any Pioneer controller in about 30 seconds with no mapping required? This is a DDJ 800, you might have the DDJ 1000 or the XDJ XZ. So the key is you've got to turn the damn thing on. This is what people are missing. Head to the cog and go to extensions and then go to track separation and click enable track separation function. Now you're gonna get these three buttons here, drums, vocals, and instrumental. And by clicking on those buttons, when you're playing a track, you'll get the stems. But it's better than that because if you've got a controller that's got this little pad button at the top, you can choose a pad mode you don't use and assign the three buttons on the screen to that. I'm going to choose my sampler and I'm going to click user one to say this is a user mode. I'm going to click in the top corner and go to transport and track separation, instrumental. Top corner, track separation, vocals. Top corner, track separation, drums. Get out of there. Select the pad mode that I chose. In this case, I remap the first three buttons on sampler. I've got a red, a green, and a blue corresponding to the red, the green, and the blue buttons on the screen. So if you've got a really basic controller like the Flex 4, the Flex 6, the DDJ400 that doesn't have the pad button, you can do it straight on the screen by just enabling it. But if you have got a pad button at the top of your record box software, which happens with the more complex controllers, then you can easily change the functions of any pad mode that you don't use to work with stems. No danger of messing anything up. It's one click to restore to the defaults and it'll take you about 30 seconds. So that is how to use stems on any record box controller. If you like this, click the join button, become the latest member of Digital DJ Tips, the world's leading online DJ school. See you later.